Okay, so hopefully we are ready to go. All right. You're yep, ready to go. I am. Okay, so starting with the official scenario. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Faradigger and here with me today is Phil Zalama, who is currently the best French player and currently sixth, sixth ranked player in the world in Osu. So, Phils, how 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 is it going? I'm fine. I'm doing fine, thanks. Uh, so yeah, you pretty much described my uh, my uh, Osu career right there. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll get we'll get a more detail into your career. Um, this is not going. Yeah. I'd like to say this is not going to be a regular interview where I'm going to ask uh, how Phils Lam got into Osu, what he likes to play, his favorite genre, mappers, or does he has a girlfriend, but. Uh, today's topic is something that I called uh, talent not allowed and to explain what I mean I'd like to give a brief introduction. Um, the thing is, uh, some time ago it, uh, there were several cases of top tier players busted as cheaters when people believed they were legit and really good and people were really disappointed and not only this but later people uh, have become more skeptical towards new rising talents on ladder and it is common for just really new really good new players to be accused of cheating based solely on the fact that they are improving fastly and when i say fastly i mean faster than other players used to um, you can see on also reports read it's uh, like reports on Xerius, Rahalk, Phil's Dilemma, Vexa and others uh, including legit players and band players but still uh, such accusations obviously meet the fans of the players and there are huge debates which are often something we see on reddit and the whole uh, situation looks a bit depressive and today like um, I decided to invite to in Phil Zalama to, the, to this interview and to bring up these topics for the reason that not only Phil Zalama is a really good player who improved uh, fastly, significantly, but he also was even restricted, not only accused of cheating by everyone, nearly, not everyone of course, by a, a huge portion of OS community. So before we begin, Phil Zalama, with the main questions, I would like to ask you uh, to say that seriously in front of all the people uh, are you a full legit player which basically means that all of your online plays were in fact legit not cheating and not performed by someone else uh, well I am as legit as you can be mm -hmm. that seems good I'll take that at a yes okay so I actually yep. should open the the presentation with the questions I have. Uh, so the first question comes in, do you remember the moment when you first were noticed in Osu community, your place? Maybe you remember a first really impressive score, which was uh, impressive for everyone. Um, if I remember correctly, it's um, when I started doing my AR11 scores, which is uh, around November 2015. Um, it's when my skills suddenly spiked. So. Um, I had a lot of uh, of accusations at that time because uh, I kind of came, came out of nowhere, so I kind of kind of got in the, uh, the spotlight of the community. You know? Do you remember uh, yeah. how many players there were at the time who could actually pull off impressive eleven scores? So, as I remember, the first one to do that was Emperor Penguin, if I'm correct. Uh, yep. Yeah. Did uh, then well. Do you remember anyone else who is really good at Era 11? There's obviously Rafis, but did Rafis oh, yeah. start to uh, do that before you or after you? I think he already uh, did a few uh, Era 11 scores, but they were not like the major ones. Um, but yeah, the, the main Era 11 known player was uh, was Emperor Penguin. So at that time, uh, I, I was like the only one, huh, like uh, one of the only one who can who could do this. So yeah, you actually were after Emperor Penguin WoW were one of the like first and main AR land level uh, yeah, uh, uh, pretty AR much. 11 farmers. Okay, that's pretty impressive. So uh, the next question obviously 
uh, moves us to accusations. Did you notice a huge wave of accusation in, in cheating immediately uh, or it happened only together with the donating for the monetary event which you can go in detail about if you wish? Um, because probably not everyone in the chat actually well, knows about the incident. Uh, sh should I talk about it or just if, get if, to my if, point? If you want, you can do that. If not, you can just answer the question. Uh, so yeah, before answering your question, I would like to take this opportunity to um, to publicly uh, to publicly apologize for the um, for this whole money story, even if it has been like half a year since it took place. Uh, my point is, I don't want it to be forgotten. I want it to be forgiven. So, to every person that ever donated on my stream or simply um, to my regular viewers, my also friends, or even to to people that <laughs> that hate me to to this day for it. Uh, I really am sorry, sincerely. But to to return to your question, um, I would say it happened progressively. Like the first accusations wave uh, started just after my eleven uh, my a AR eleven scores that I've set at the end of two thousand fifteen. But people really started witch hunting me in March two thousand sixteen. Um, then there was a f there were a few also report threads uh, who got posted which I didn't really pay attention to at first, but then there was Movie World's thread, and uh, I think it's this thread who, that really put the nail in the coffin. Um, mm -hmm. But I never really thought I, would, I was going to, re to get restricted for it, just because, just because of suspicion. But well, I guess I was wrong about that. You are always running a bit too far. We have like the restriction case oh. and stuff in the following question. <laughs> So, yeah. still, we're not even talking about restriction here. Uh, the next question yeah, okay. is, what was your reaction to being regarded as a cheater by those people? Were you proud, depressed or confused in this case? Did you try to react to the accusation by arguing your legitimacy or you just ignored them with irony? Uh, well, uh, at first I took it as a compliment, of course, like, you know you're 100% legit, yet mm -hmm. a large group of people say you aren't, so it can really inflate your ego. But then the, this group get larger and larger uh, until the whole community start getting suspicious. So um, yeah, I, I thought arguing my legitimacy at this point was really lost cause because they would always find something else to say, you know. Um, uh, were you thinking about making, for example, a live play before getting restricted? Uh, I thought about it, but since I didn't really think I would get restricted for it, I. I kind of forgot this idea. Okay, so you were kind of confident with also Supper yeah. being honest in this case. Yep. Am I correct? Okay, that's, I think that's a really valid position for the case. So, and here I have another uh, additional question. What about, about your own nation? What they're like, for example, I'm judging by Russia. Uh, it is, there is a huge difference from how a Russian player who is suspicious is regarded in Russia and outside of Russia, like internationally, uh, was oh, there see. some um, kind of different between how French people, French fans, thought about you and internationally? Um, I would say French fans were more um, like, I wouldn't say kind, but more um, comprehensive to me, uh, because they they uh, they kind of accepted the idea of um, of me being legit, but um, I. Uh, I don't really know if um, if there's a really a difference between France, France, and outside of France. You know. Okay, fair. So still, still, would you say like generally people like most of the, there were more people who th who shouted that you are cheater than who shouted that you were legit before the restriction. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. okay, that's actually pretty depressive, isn't it? Probably was. Yeah, depressive for you. and also if if uh, anyone like doubts uh, a thing I say, uh, everything can be um, can be found on Reddit. I mean, all the um, the comments saying uh, like you are you aren't legit, etc. Uh, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. can be found on Reddit. So I mean, it's it's concrete evidence that I was kind of witch hunted. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's topics on Reddit. It's actually, in fact, the first top rated topic of the year on also yep. report Reddit, which is pretty funny uh, yeah, and it is. <laughs> there is like no reason for you to lie since you are already unrestricted and kind of believed to be legit because time has passed but now 
uh, well, we are heading on to the restriction. Please now dedicate All right. some time to telling us about when you were restricted, when and how you, did you find out about it, how did you feel, etc. What actions did you All right. decide um, to perform? I Let me finish um... the question, please. I just want oh, sorry. To, <laughs> sorry. To, I just want to read the whole slide so that. Oh, okay, all right, sorry. What actions actions <laughs> did you decide to perform in order to bring justice to the case? For example, like uh, mentioning the live play that you posted on Reddit. Did you contact support or Pepe and did you get an answer? So now please have your full talk on that. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually remember my uh, restriction clearly. Um, I had just returned from school and I opened the OSU and I chilled on it for a couple of minutes. And suddenly I got a message from BouncerBot saying uh, your account is currently in restricted mode. And to be completely honest with you, I thought it was a joke at first. Um, that someone like renamed himself a uh, name close to BouncerBot, like a uh, BouncerBot with, an, with a zero instead of an O, you know, and mm -hmm. decided to send me this message just to fuck with me. But uh, mm -hmm. I was wrong, it was an actual restriction. So uh, yeah, I was kind of lost there. And um, I created a, a Reddit thread, uh, which still exists to this day in order to get in actual info on the subject as to why I was restricted. Um, back there, I actually th I actually thought it was um, because I broke the OSU rules for some reason, but people were quick to tell me uh, that it was because of my suspicious plays. So uh, yeah, uh, after that, I contacted the OSU staff with a well-written and structured email saying that basically either they had made a mistake or it was a staff member that thought I was cheating, um, in which case I would happily post a live play. Uh, but I never got a response from their hand, so um, I decided to just record and um, post the live play to YouTube. And and I also sent it to him, but I still didn't get an answer. Um, okay, so, so yeah, I fight. want to, to get this straight. You yeah. emailed support uh, after getting restricted, asking yep. why did you why were restricted or like yep. have yep, I did. and you didn't get an answer. No, but I didn't. So at all. That's nope. actually that's actually really weird because even though like Pepe uh, says that confesses that also support is not quick on answers, but he says that everyone except for the people who are just deliberately deliberately spamming also stuff with stupid uh, messages gets an answer in twenty four hours or forty eight or something, and you didn't. Well, that's actually not really great from also support size, uh, I think. So, yeah. um, okay, I think we can discuss more about the restriction by f going to the next question. Uh, so after several days or maybe weeks, you have probably thought that you were restricted permanently, didn't you? So how did you feel about that? Did you have thoughts of quitting also based on that entirely? Um, yeah, but I did think this restriction would never be over. Um... Actually, now that, now that I think about it, my big brother really made things worse for me at that time. Like he kept saying things um, like, um, uh, "You should quit Osu, or uh, you'll never be unrestricted. Stop checking Osu subreddit." <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, I definitely thought about quitting this game, but um, that would mean the staff won, and I didn't want that. I wanted justice to be done, and I kept fighting to get it. So um, maybe by sending them two additional emails to which they still, they still didn't respond, actually. <laughs> or just by um, like informing people that weren't really sure about what was happening. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty admirable. I remember, for example, I also was your fan after your AR-11 scores, because at that time, AR-11, I thought that was really cool and I really liked uh, impressive Emperor Penguin scores too and then I uh, saw that you were restricted and I at first thought well uh, it's a it's a pity that Phil's Lama wasn't actually legit but then I saw your live stream and it had a title of uh, restricted for being good and <laughs> yeah I, I, I noticed your attitude and then I understood that you were uh, totally not uh, agreeing with the fact that you were restricted and well uh, luckily, you were actually unrestricted, but we'll get to that soon. What about your biggest fans at the time, like your closest friend, for example? Did they still believe you after you got restricted, or just what was their reaction on that? Uh, yeah, if by biggest fans you mean my closest also friend, uh, of course they were hundred percent sure I was I was legit uh, from the beginning. But 
uh, considering my other fans, uh, some of them were really just sad to see one of the fairest players uh, turn out to be apparently a cheater. And uh, some decided to just get mad and uh, insult me for uh, being, uh, <laughs> I could dumb for having supposedly cheated. So yeah, mm -hmm. I got uh, I got a lot of different reaction from this. So I have another question. Uh, for example, in in France, in maybe your town, do you, do you, did you have any kind of uh, real life also meet up parties or something? Um, like that? Did you meet I, uh, any also people in 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 person? I I actually live in a pretty lost city in France, uh, so I didn't. Uh, I I never actually saw someone who plays also in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I, I mean, I, I could have gone to land in Paris or uh, in another country, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not like I, I didn't think it was worth it just for so-called clicking game, you know? Like, yeah, uh, I understand. when you know you're legit, uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't well, see the point. Uh, it's not like I wanted you to go to a land party to prove that you were legit, but just imagine a situation where you went to a land just for funs. Yeah. just for laws and then you got restricted and then that people who were at the LAN could have probably said that you were legit, indeed legit because they saw you playing but well yeah unfortunately I, mm -hmm. I never had the chance to go at the LAN okay uh, so a more broad question how would you generally comment on also support behavior in this case do you think do you have an idea of what were they thinking about when they were restricting you um, I would say I was actually very disappointed by the uh, also support decision to just respect me like that, uh, only because of the community suspicions. Um, that plus the fact that they seem to completely ignore my emails, uh, one hell to one hell of a way to dodge the problem, I guess. But they themselves maybe um, they themselves didn't really know what to do, so they just did the thing that satisfied the majority, which is the community, and simply decided to respect me. Uh, well, I guess so. Fortunately, we kind of do know, at least uh, from Pepe's words, that you were not going to be perma-restricted. You were restricted for a temporary amount of time in order to check you. However, that sounds a bit weird and I'm sure Pepe sometimes uh, doesn't say tell the, the full truth, so not really sure but yeah i agree with you i think that also support behavior is fairly disappointed in this case just like it was for example with azerite so yeah. uh, to to in addition is there any important also related events that happened during the restriction period that you would like to bring up before we go to unrestriction stuff um i can't think of anything right now so i'd say no Okay, so let's go straight to the next. Uh, now let's transfer to brighter times and please tell us a bit about how you got unrestricted by answering the same questions as before. When and how did you find about it? How did you feel? And another question is, did you actually expect to get it banned at all at this point? Um, I got unrestricted the 1st of June 2016. Um, it was a Wednesday, I'm sure about that. And at first, I didn't know I was unrestricted. I opened up Google and so I had a lot of notification, like more than usual. And uh, I noticed a lot of people were saying GG, so I didn't really know what it was for. So I opened Osu subreddit and at the top of the page was the thread Phil Zalama unrestricted. So yeah, um, this time too, I actually thought it was a joke because uh, during my restriction, mm -hmm. people will, fa will post fake uh, like unrestriction thread. So I needed to double check, but my account was in fact unrestricted. So how did you feel? Um, what I felt was, I'd say, a mixture of happiness and great relief. Like uh, it's it's always good to uh, to have um, your legitimacy. Uh, uh, did you, uh, for example, well, contact some some people who maybe your close friends who were disappointed? with you and th uh, thought you to be a cheater after you were restricted? Did you uh, PM them saying that now you can actually see that I'm legit or something like that? Well, the thing is, uh, none of my close Osu friends thought I was le uh, was unlegit, so uh, I didn't have to do that. They didn't even question it even though you were restricted? No. Mm -hmm. So, well, I guess I... those are good friends in that case. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, nice to are. hear. 
Okay, so next question is, could you tell us what kind of impression your own restriction made on the interested part of also community as you remember it? For example, what kind of uh, attitude and mood was under the post where it was said that you were unrestricted? Do you remember it? Um, from what I can remember, uh, after the end restriction, some would say I paid Pepe to be unrestricted. <laughs> um, and also, uh, I remember Saison saying, um, like, a false positive always takes less than a week to get resolved. So he didn't really believe me. Um, so yeah, they just didn't want to admit they were wrong all this time. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's just the minority, of course. Most of people I talked to uh, at that time were just really excited to see me come back and turn out to be legit. Oh, that's actually great. Like, uh, do you remember you probably, uh, like, do you remember your first stream after getting unrestricted? Uh, yeah, get yeah, I, I remember. Or something? Um, I remember, I remember getting more than usual. I wouldn't say a lot, but mm -hmm. yeah, definitely more than usual. Um, yeah. I also remember not having a cam because my cable was too short. So people would say, uh, oh, he doesn't have a cam. He must be cheating. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, cheating again. Turn <laughs> yeah. to, to, to be cheating again. Okay, yeah. so next question is: uh, Did the did the amount of hate significantly change after this series of events, as you remember it? Um, so after getting unrestricted. Not really, actually. So not really, actually. Before bef know. before that, you said that most of mm, largest portion of uh, also like active also people uh, thought that you were cheating did they still believe you were cheating after you were unrestricted i would say the majority of them just kind of accepted the idea of me being legit but uh, like some people that couldn't base the arguments about me being under uh, restricted anymore uh, they had to find another way to prove their their points so they just started making the assumptions like pointing out my often seen as bad attitude etc so yeah. So here I want to also mention uh, like the the OS report thread and I want yeah. to ask the question. So I remember that Smoothie World was the person is that like the real Smoothie World, am I correct? The that wrote the, the report on you. Yep, it is. Uh, did he contact you, apologize or do something like that after you were unrestricted or in some time after that happened? Uh, no, but I remember uh, like uh, him talking to his friends about me indirectly. So, uh, and but what... he didn't he didn't contact me uh, face to face. Okay, but if you heard like if you know what he was talking, how he was talking about you with his friends, do you would you like to like you know, tell us what was his uh, opinion after you were unrestricted? Because, um, well, uh, quoting his report, he says that, uh, literally, uh, that um, I think that this guy is going to blatant. I think that was something like that. I remember specifically the word blatant because I really love yeah. the word, the word, the word blatant in uh, reports yeah. on legit people. So, did he actually... Um, yeah. From what I can remember, uh, he told people um, that he did it. Um, like the fact that my ba that I had a bad attitude really made him uh, do it. Like uh, it wasn't even my place. It was just the fact that he didn't like me. Oh, I think that's pretty dumb, though. That's yeah. Because uh, in, when you involve, lead on to other questions. Okay, is it all right with you? All right. Yeah. Okay, yep. so now the questions are going to get uh, gradually harder, honestly. So the first question and discussion that I would like to have with you is, uh, ironically enough, just yesterday, a famous Korean DT player, Silver Rain, not sure if you heard about him, but he's like top 100 world, yeah, I heard of, announced that he was quitting Osu due to reports on him and how he was accused. Uh, he even said something like, I'm going. I'm not going to return into Osu until I'm proven to be legit, well, whatever that means. How would you comment on such behavior? What advice would you give him as a player who faced the same kind of attitude or even worse? So um, question. To be honest, I completely un uh, understand his decision. The uh, the reason I didn't quit myself when I was Witch Hunted was because I didn't want to let the staff win. I was legit and I wanted to prove it, so yeah. 
but some people either they don't care enough about osu or they simply don't have the uh, the mental force to endure such treatment uh any gap in them quitting and i think that's really sad i can't really get any advice to a player in this situation but it's either like you want to be unrestricted enough to keep fighting for it uh, or you think uh, quitting the game will simply erase the problem altogether? Well, I mean, uh, the difference in your cases, uh, which there is, uh, is that you were restricted while he is not restricted. Do you see yourself quitting just based on accusation and not actually get restricted at all? I don't think so. I will. I will. I will probably like stick to my. Uh, to people I like, such as my friends, uh, my closest also friends, and just ignore the, uh, the collective uh, opinion altogether. So, still, do you think that it is like a reasonable that you understand people who are willing to quit also without being restricted, just based on the fact that they are suspicious and are accused a lot? Yeah, I com I, I I completely understand. It's uh. It's comprehensible. Yeah, kinda. Even though, like, my personal opinion on that is, well, in this case, speaking frankly, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd advise uh, taking, like, the uh, having the balls, or not sure how to pronounce it correctly, but, well, honestly speaking, even though if there are a lot of people who are accusing you of cheating, there are still there you probably still have friends f who are 100% sure in your legitness and you and they probably want you to play further and to yeah. rank up and to have impressive scores so uh, don't you think that quitting the game uh, because of the haters is a bit of betrayal towards your real fan base that's my question um that's a difficult question actually um i would say that it depends on the connection you have with your fans like if you um if you interact with them a lot yeah they would definitely be sad to see you go but i mean if you were kind of um if you kind of away from uh, all this uh, all the community and all this uh i wouldn't see uh how it is a problem to to quit to just quit the game because of uh, of suspicion okay i understand your opinion so let's go to the next question oh this one is like i think the largest question uh, oh no not really like the largest w w the one about medicine so uh, the most common technique on proving one's legitimacy today is considered to be live play of high quality for example the one uh, performed by rohalk it has become uh, a standard of some sort for that uh, for the live plays. In fewer cases, it is actually possible to invite the player to land like it happened in Spare's case. Do you personally believe that this kind of proof is sufficient to state that your scores are indeed legit? Do you think that also support should take into account such activity implying they do not actually do that at the moment? Because I believe they only pay attention to your suspicious process. That's like from my feeling. So, would you please have a discussion on this topic? Um, well, uh, live plays as well as plays that are done on land uh, are clearly the best option to prove your actual skill. But in fact, they will they will always be this this zone of darkness. Like, did he cheat this particular play or this one? See, like going to land, unfortunately can't prove that each and every one of your previous plays are legit. It's simply possible to do that and people have to understand that. But it's still the best choice as it gives others and I would say an overall view of what you're capable of, which is always a good thing. Yeah, but uh, so more specifically to the question, do you think that also support should take into account uh, like like plays, for example, uh, like imagine if you like were not unrestricted, all right? And yeah. in that case, you are sure that you are legit. Like just like Azrit was sure he was legit, but also Sappert said, told him, told you that well, he, they didn't tell you anything, but they told him that he was accused of cheating, that he was cheating. Do you think that in that case, Sappert should give person an option to? defend himself by doing something like a live play or not at all well i mean it's the most obvious uh, choice like to give him a chance to prove his he is legit if he in fact is um but uh, from what i've seen so far the osu staff doesn't really mind about uh, 
live plays that are being posted uh, in order to prove uh, one's le legitimacy. But at the same time, you are saying that even if you manage to or to like uh, repeat your play on a live play, like for example your impressive score, it doesn't necessarily mean that all of your other scores weren't cheated. So yeah. how do you actually combine these two facts that also support should try to let players defend themselves using live play and the fact that uh, live play doesn't really allow you to prove legitimacy 100%. How would you combine oh. them? Oh, as there is no way to prove like one of your previous score uh, is in fact legit, I would say it will need to be uh, like um, accepted that it is in fact legit if you say it is. There, there's really no way to, to prove that it is legit. Even if you redo it in a later in the land or in the life lane. I mean, speaking more specifically, for example, uh, let's imagine you are working as also support member and you see yeah. some kind of suspicious process. I don't know how the exact they do that, but for example, you have some kind of black box uh, evidence that this player is cheating, but then he is able to give you a high quality live play of the same score. Would you think about unrestricting the player based on this live play or not? Or you would still um, keep him banned because, well, the fact that he made a live play on this score doesn't mean that it wasn't cheated because your black box uh, says it was. Well, I would definitely take into consideration the idea of unrestricted him based okay. on the uh, live play. Okay, that's a specific answer. Thanks. So I guess we can now go to the next discussion. Yeah, this is this is one is the longest. This is a really interesting one in my opinion. Um, I in fact do have several friends who were restricted for cheating, and they even uh, had received answers from also support where it is written that you are restricted for cheating you should wait six months and blah 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 but my, those friends are 100 percent confident that they didn't break any rules at all not not only cheating but at all and usually i would tell them that this doesn't work like that that also support only restricts you based on some real evidence however the frequency of some of such events looks scary and we do have real evidences uh, like it happened with you and Azurid and unfortunately only once Mazarin with his enormous authority managed to literally revive Azurid from unban and for doing the same for a no-name player is obviously infeasible. So how would you comment on the system in this case do you see any way that uh, could improve the situation or maybe you think that support indeed doesn't restrict without a reason <laughs> that's well, actually uh, funny <laughs> uh, well I'll say uh, that unfortunately perfect justice doesn't always exist and that there will always be a few mistakes but yeah you're right the occurrence of such mistakes in the OSA community is rather scary uh, it's as if in the case of a false restriction like mine you either like know the right people to get unrestricted faster or uh, you end up sending emails to non-responding staff and uh, in the in the uh, constant fear, I might say, that you may never be unrestricted after all. So yeah, there's no doubt the, um, that the OSU support system uh, is broken deep inside. So I also want to stress for the viewers here that uh, you have heard about several uh, cases of players been restricted and unrestricted uh, well they were believed to be cheaters and were restricted and then unrestricted imagine how many more players there could be obviously still restricted while being legit and famous ones and now uh, like spread this to how many more no-name unknown players could be suffering in restrict uh, while being legit because they do yeah. not have a good friend Mazarin who has enormous authority in the community so that's really a, a bit of a, a that's really sad for everyone who is watching right now because I feel like I'm some uh, in, in Russian communities people when the, like the, those f uh, people who were restricted while assuming like while thinking that they were 100% legit they uh, 
PM me and they say that they, they have this problem and they ask me, do I have any kind of um, con connections, like relations with the OSO staff to uh, examine their restriction to do something and I have to tell them that I'm sorry, but I have no uh, levelers to actually get any more information or help the situation in any case. So this is truly uh, depressive in this case. Okay, so let's move through the next question. And oh, that's, uh, I think that's that one is really interesting as well. Do you have your own thoughts on someone popular, on some popular player being suspicious or maybe even like a, unlegit? Uh, for example, I have a few examples here. What about Terry Weekly, uh, Gaze MacG or Spare? Do you generally believe that also support is doing a good job of keeping at least the top of the ladder full legit? Or what about your own nation, France specifically? Um, as for the three players you just mentioned, uh, I, f I believe in fact that they are they are legit. Uh, I don't have any example of a player I personally find suspicious in mind at the moment, but there are some. Um, nevertheless, it's not because I find them suspicious that I'm going to stop sh witch hunting them. See. Um, uh, I know what it feels like to be wrongly excited after my restriction all this and I don't want to anyone anyone else to feel this because of me so yeah mm -hmm. well it makes sense I mean this is a really fair position so but more specifically do you uh, believe that also support is doing a good job of keeping the letter full legit or not for example uh, how do you, how would you assess the times that uh, a player is busted between um, between the times between the time that players busted on Oso report and he's banned. So how would you overall assess the quality of uh, like legit check that is performed by Oso support? Well, I mean, um, they f they should definitely not grant any uh, uh, additional chance to uh, like obvious cases in the top fifty uh, little board, but. Um, are they doing a good job at it? I don't really know. Um, as for the, um, the, they like they have um, they have a lot of bad history with uh, false restriction and all this. So mm -hmm, that's true. Yeah, it, really, it, really, it really shows. Uh, for example, so uh, did you actually say that you think that there are a couple of uh, suspicious players in top fifty, but you just re remember, don't remember them exactly? Am I correct? Or that's uh, not yeah. what you meant? Yeah. So, no, no, I, I, I think some of them are pretty suspicious. Definitely. Okay. okay, but still, you are obviously not going to call them. Yeah, of course. Accuse them because you don't didn't really study the case. Okay. Uh, yep. that, that, that's fair. So let's go to the next question. Yeah, this is one. Let's. Uh, God damn! All of the questions are interesting for me. I really like them. What about so-called witch hunters, people who are specifically trying to spot unlegit behavior by other players? What's your attitude to that kind of activity? Do you think that also community needs them at all or not? Or And any advice you would give to them maybe? So, well, if if, if Oops, feels... Sorry, my... my... Okay. You are back. <laughs> Uh, could you repeat the question? Please? Uh, the question is concerning which hunters. Uh, do it. What's your attitude? Do you think OSU committee needs them, uh, or uh, any advice that you would like to give them? And well, unfortunately, Wi-Fi is a bit down at the moment. So we'll have just to wait until. Feels uh, internet connection gets resolved. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I keep, I keep disconnecting. Okay, so did you did you manage? Yeah, yeah. Question? Uh, I I heard the question. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah. Um. Often. Um. Also, players are often in contact with numbers that are important to the community, such as the PP, the score, the top fifty leaderboards, etc. So uh, yeah, they get attached to these numbers, and when they see someone, for example, with a low play count that is high ranked, uh, it can create a weird feeling that will later become suspicion. And um, I know this isn't going to change the overall behavior of the community regarding suspicious players, but keep in mind that there are exceptions, and that there's a limit between what's conceivable and what's impossible. 
um, like I wouldn't consider myself a prodigy, but I definitely see why people would suspect me. So I kind of forgive them about that. Their it's just that their reaction wasn't the best one. So still, could you please specifically answer the questions concerning what's your attitude to that kind of activity, and do you think also community needs witch hunters, or maybe they should treat, uh, maybe they should treat also as a single player game and don't care about other players at all? I don't think the the community really needs witch hunters, but they definitely need like people who um, who pay attention to the activity of suspicious players. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I think that's fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I have anything more to add here, so your position is quite understandable. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Oh, this one is concerning Kunin as well. Uh, have <laughs> you noticed a trend that there... Oh, that's actually a bit more technical question, which is really nice to have you here because you are like the one of semi-prodigies. Uh, have you noticed a trend that there has been a lot more players rising to the top a lot quicker than it used to be. So today s certain players are proving a lot faster than it was possible uh, before, like a year ago or two years ago. Uh, for example, like uh, it's also about Kunan uh, arguing that with such low play count a legit player couldn't possibly be that good. What is your opinion on that and why do you think this is happening at all? Um. Well, to answer the first question, I definitely think the uh, like the global skill of the community uh, rises as uh, years go by. Like, uh, if you take, uh, for example, Vaxe, who who rose to the top recently, uh, he definitely proved that it was possible to do that. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, nowadays there are a lot of like prodigies um, in the community, and um, unfortunately, they often get like uh, associated with with the cheaters, so I think that's sad. So as as a player who is really skilled at the game and was also became like really good at uh, not uh, that large amount of time, could you think and give us a hint? Why do you think this is happening at all? Why people today have an ability to improve a lot faster, like exponentially faster than it was several years ago? Um, I would say it is because like they see um, other people get better and they uh, like kind of follow them, you know. Like when you um, when you when you're around good players, you want to become like one of them, you know. Um, so you you do everything in your power to to rise to the top. So maybe that, I, I think that's why we see uh, we see so many good players lately. So do you think it has to do more with motivation or? Uh, taking advice from better players? Um, I would say it is, yeah, motivation. Uh, that plus the, um, like the, uh, for example, the practice training that um, that gets better, or simply the, the like the general mapping in the, uh, in the ESO community. So actually speaking about mapping, uh, one yeah. of the opinions that, for example, I talked with Talala about this, who is uh, 20th, player in the world, Russian top 2, and he said that his opinion was uh, because of how more many maps, different maps that uh, test your challenge, your skill today, that's why people playing various maps, they are able to improve a lot faster. Do you think that's the case? Uh, yeah, definitely is the case, yeah. Like, uh, if you take in into consideration Vaxay, once again, um, he not only is very good at reading high a AR, but he uh, also is very good at easy mod, so it definitely shows uh, how well, uh, how uh, like polyvalent can you be at the game. Did uh, I don't remember exactly, but was he the player who did a pass easy FL pass on Big Black, or something? Uh, I think he did once, yeah. So yeah, I mean that's pretty uh, impressive score. That's certainly another kind of skill compared to what he usually does. For example, yeah. oh, um, as a as an AR eleven player, as we are like speaking about Vexi here, you know that he had a pass on Airman with DT, yep. and I would like to ask you, as a AR eleven player and person who has good aim, uh, how difficult would you say this play 
to pull off? How really impressive that score is from your standpoint? Um, well, if you're talking about the uh, Airman uh, hidden hard work, hard work, um, yeah, hidden hard work DT score, um, I would definitely think it's more like um, a speed challenging map more than a reading map. Uh, well, for me at least, because I played the map so many times, I I almost know it by heart by now. So um, it's just the uh, like say speed that allowed him to to do this incredible pass. I mean, uh, just like giving a, a brief adjective to that. Do you think that this player, uh, this play is like one of the craziest passes of all times, or that it just requires speed and not that impressive for someone as good as Vexi, for example? I would say it. Uh, it definitely is hard to pass because of um, a few patterns, but other than, other than that, uh, it's yeah, it's really much speed based, and not really a reading race or any other uh, skill aspect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. So let's go to the next question. Um, I guess we are arriving to a couple of last questions. This one is. Uh, what message would you give to OSU community who are passionate enough about competitive OSU and participate in those debates that I was talking about earlier about players' legitimacy? What kind of attitude would you advise them when to have when another young talent like Vexi goes from top 300 to top 3 in a month? Do you think people shouldn't care about cheaters at all? For example, some people argue that Osu should be essentially a single-player game in in that context. Do you agree with that? So, yeah. Um, I feel like yeah, help, wanting to help the community is a very good cause indeed. But you need to make sure to draw the line between helping it and like doing the contrary, which is destroying it from the inside. Uh, let me explain. Being an active like being an active Osu report member doesn't necessarily make you a, a witch hunter or a bad guy, but you really have to use critical thinking in this types of subreddits. Um, well, as I said earlier, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, I wanted to stress that I'm here not talking about uh, people who are like doing the reports and stuff. Uh, for example, oh. let's talk about uh, the majority of people who are not actually or even reading also report. And for example, they see uh, someone rising to the top really fast. And uh, I want to yeah. tell you my story of that. Uh, the reason why I actually started to not like cheaters very much, the, the main reason for that, is I used to be hyped about uh, people improving fastly, about crazy scores they set, and when you understand that the crazy score that was set by a certain player was cheated, you are really, really disappointed, and that's yeah. why you don't really want to fully trust that guy next yeah, yeah. time another way and be disappointed also could you comment on that and tell an advice to people who are not actually doing witch hunting but just see these impressive scores which are sometimes unbelievable just like for example like says uh, uh, airman dt pass uh, because that's something a lot of people still do not believe well um i would say that even if you don't really know if a play is cheated, you can still like enjoy watching it, or just enjoy the player. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't don't realize that Osu is one of the few online games in which cheaters don't affect you directly. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it it ha also has a very social aspect to it, and I think it is a shame that people start eating on each other just because of uh, of assumptions like that. So. Uh, uh, am I getting you correct? You want to advise the players uh, looking at the uh, like watching the scores, but be generally more chill about accusing others, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think that uh, some people should be really calmer, uh, even if they are just fanboying for the guy, or maybe if they are. Uh, accusing someone of cheating. This is actually like uh, there is a meme when there are like Cookies is fun boys and Raf is fun boys and they <laughs> debate who is better yeah, yeah. and they <laughs> should really probably be a bit uh, <clears throat> chill in that case. So next question is 
it's no surprise that people have actually been losing trust in uh, trust for also support for quite some time now especially since your case in azarid since azarid's case since spares pain for unban meme uh, why do you well, I guess it's obvious why do you think that happens, but uh, do you think I it, is, is a, it is a valid reason to lose your trust for also support? And what would you recommend also for also support to change in the system to maybe resurrect its reputation and improve also support community interaction? So a general question well, saying, what do you, do you have any idea of what also support should significantly change right now to try to address the issues that we proposed earlier today? Well, I definitely think uh, like equality concerning the OSU support can and definitely should exist. Um, but for in, well, in order for the OSU staff to regain the trust of the community, they lost through the uh, the multiple cases of like obvious special treatments, such as the one you just mentioned. Um, I think it would be a great thing if their like intercession was more easily solicited. By that, I mean uh, it would be better for community to for a community to. Um, like if they could interact with the staff without having to like wait two, uh, two weeks to get an email response back. Um, I don't know, maybe creating a staff ERC chat. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I, I believe a lot of, um, of problems can be solved simply by like good communication. So we should definitely look up to that. Uh, that actually brings us to two kind of questions. Firstly, I believe that also support takes some time to answer and stuff because there's not really many also staff members and the reason of that i'm not sure if it's money but maybe because just pepe wants only really his close people who he trusts to manage the things so one of the advices one of the advice you would give to him is hire more people in that case right yeah uh, yeah and i guess so the second thing which is a bit more controversial so when you when like even if you uh, like either when you are a legit player or when you are a cheater if you are restricted and you ask support what's happening they will tell you you are a cheater all right and then yeah, yeah. they do not actually provide any more information on which play uh, is cheated or what kind of program you believe you were believed to be using do you think that's yeah. correct do you think that uh, keeping all the information internal about how they detect and what they detect is a reasonable uh, action by also support or you think that they should reveal something so that the debates could be like like so so you could for example understand when you are legit you could understand what actually triggered your restriction so this yeah kind of i definitely don't like agree with this uh, this behavior of the osu staff like they they often respond with uh, uh passive aggressive answers like uh yeah they don't provide any uh, information on your case and um when you are falsely restricted like i was uh it can create like a uh, a frustration feeling uh yeah but still do you think they they that they should be revealing this information because there's obviously a drawback of that if you reveal too much information guys like aqn are going to exploit it and improve their cheats or something and you are going to suffer more in the future while talking from uh, also support's positions so could you please try to think of a specific answer yes or no to this problem reveal more information or not Assuming there are like advantages and disadvantages to that thesis. Yeah, um, I would definitely say it's uh, it's a hard question because um, mm. like it, uh, what, what, no matter what the answer is, there is always uh, like the counterpart of it. But uh, I think it's for the best uh, if they could release like a little bit of uh, of info on your case when you ask for it. Okay, so your answer is generally yes. You would recommend yeah. if you if you were to control also support, you would try to yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. So, uh, next question is uh, really close to that one. What do you think about Pepe's position in this case? He obviously trusts his own team in also support. Sometimes people who can't reach also support uh, email Pepe, and Pepe says that. 
this is not my duty, you should refer to also support. Do you think that he, as the head of the company, also entertainment or something, uh, even though he doesn't like the name company here, do you think he should take the situation under his control, own control, already? After well, uh, like, after people are losing trust from also support. Yeah, I see. Um, well, yeah, I've heard Pepe like tends to stay away from the community's claims, um, to focus on his own work, and I don't really blame him for that. But um, I think that if he got a little more involved in the also support, uh, serious reports will be more easily separated from the uh, the proofless slash useless accusations. Uh, which would definitely speed up the cleaning process. So yeah, I guess we'll have to see how he decide to use his big influence upon his game. Well, at the moment he's probably busy with building also laser, but for yeah. hopefully we might. Well, I really hope that we will see some kind of improvement improvement on the system after also laser is released released this year, hopefully, because. If uh, that if the problems that we have discussed today with like uh, the real problems with the system of fossil support are going to stay, uh, the situation is going to get really worse, I believe, because every band legit player is a serious uh, issue for the community, yeah. I believe. So, okay, uh, next question is. Oh, that's also really interesting. What is your opinions, uh, opinion on players who intentionally cheat in order to get banned, for example, to quit the game like Kukizu did? Furthermore, uh, some of the player like, and you also understand that some of those players do actually file an appeal after six, month, six <laughs> months or more. Uh, do you think they could ever be trusted and let into the community again? Assuming how easily they uh, threw their like their reputation away, that's my question. Well, um, uh, for the uh, as for the act to get banned, so I don't play anymore uh, mentality. I find it rather absurd because uh, if you really wanted to quit this game, as you say you want to, uh, you wouldn't need to force yourself to do it by cheating. So it just shows that you are mentally too weak in order to quit by yourself. Uh, cheating to get banned will probably fuck up your reputation forever and uh, also create useless drama so yeah don't don't cry about it if you ever come back on this game so yeah, in short I wouldn't recommend it so what about what about actually accepting appeals from those players imagine again if oh, you were um, to support how would you treat those people trying to return into the community I that's a hard question actually um, mm -hmm. I would say it depends on the cases like, um, if the person really looks like um, he he learned something from his past experience, uh, I would definitely allow him uh, well, how a second do you, how, how do you judge that? Well, for example, we have a couple of cases. We we do have Kukizis' right. case, which has been already resolved. And, for example, mm -hmm. we have the case that hasn't been resolved yet, Nico. Do you know a Polish player named Nico? Yep. So he's currently in the process of appealing. And right. did you see like interview with him or something along those lines? Uh, no, I don't really uh, check uh, that. Okay, but still, Actually, like, uh, uh, if, if, if you can choose an option here, like, uh, if you want to be more specific, uh, could you remember any player that did intentionally cheat to get banned and tried to appeal uh, and uh, say what you think on his, her case? Well, I the only thing I know is that he AR cheated his uh, Atam Atamaino Aitsu, uh, his uh, yeah, score not, on. Uh, I'm not talking yeah. about Nikos particularly. But, so. Oh, okay. So oh, I, I, see, I uh, want you to choose any player you want who was in right. this kind of scenario, and oh. if you know enough about him, uh, tell your attitude if you were also support to this particular case. So maybe you know uh, most about Kukizi because well. Yeah, and probably everyone. Well, I, I, don't I don't think Okizi, I don't think Okizi is a good example of that because uh, I don't think he really um, he really uh, regretted his decision. Like he came back on this game and he got unrestricted. Huh? Like 
he got unbanned because he is Kokizi, you know, like uh, it's not really the um, the fact that he was uh, he was sad about his past decision. Well, at least I don't think so. So if you if you were uh, in those who support seat, you would you wouldn't treat you wouldn't unban Kokizi or something along those those lines. I would definitely uh, try to get more info on his uh, like his position on the subject and mm. yeah, so I, tr I would try to to talk with him uh, more in order to Actually, get more info. Do do you know the rumor that Kukizi and Peppy met uh, the day before Kukizi says and ban? Uh, Peppy yeah. posted a picture to his Twitter where yeah. he is uh, doing a selfie with someone and he said that he wanted his face hidden and so the face is mm -hmm. hidden and a lot of people are arguing uh, arguing that it was Kukizi because well Kukizi was unbanned the next day so f yeah. imagining uh, that Pepe did actually meet Kukizi well they do live uh, nearby that's a fact because Toy when he met Kukizi during Odyssey, also was planning to visit Pepe's office. Uh, do you think? All right. So now we have this information. So maybe I'm not sure. Maybe Pepe actually met Kukizi to discuss this stuff. So that probably is something that cons consistent with what you would be would do, right? Yeah, Would yeah. You meet Kukizi and discuss, it, for example. And maybe imagine imagining a bit more if you actually met Kukizi as an also support member trying to yeah. get him unbanned, what would you tell him or what would you ask? Well, first I would ask like um, what um, has changed uh, like between him uh, now and the the him that chill, so uh, to definitely more uh, to have more uh, more info about the uh, about how he. Uh, like about how, like his past decision, you know about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, probably enough for this question. Do we have? Yeah, we have another. Oh, well, this one is no. not not that broad. Uh, so what what is generally your opinion on the current appealing process? So like when you write this long letter, when you answer the specific questions, do you think that six months? is is an optimal waiting period uh, do you believe that actually unbans are fair and unbiased or you don't well uh first i i would say i believe that six months is really too much because uh like especially when you know you can be falsely restricted and uh, not, like not be able to contact the staff in any other way uh, this is why as i've mentioned previously that the uh, support that if the support was more accessible to the community and uh, if Pepe got a little more involved for uh, like controversial cases, like he did for mine, for example, uh, maybe six months could be I ideal. But for now, like there are too many um, uh, weak points in the uh, system, which keeps it from having a, a good success rate, fortunately. So yeah, I, I would think uh, like one or two months for an appeal seems uh, it would seem more reasonable at the moment. That's actually something that Ripple does. Uh, if I remember correctly, really? Ripple has one month of restriction. So like, if you get restricted for a multi-account or cheating, you can appeal in in a couple of months. So you think that's better, right? Yep, definitely. Uh, actually, uh, if... Uh, no, not really. So. Mm, uh, here I also would like to add the question concerning denying the appeal. So you might know that sometimes also support does not actually unban you at all. For example, most of the times that happens when you created multi-accounts and cheated on that multi-accounts. Uh, yeah. What would be your uh, comment on uh, in what cases do you think also support really should ban appeal at all. Do you think that it serves any practical pur purpose? Because, well, what what a person who was denied an appeal is going to do, pre probably create more multi-acts, right? So yep. what was what would be your opinion on that in general? Well, uh, I mean, the, uh, the appeal system by itself is, uh, I don't really agree with it because, uh, like, uh, if people really, like, cheated to get banned found, like, Cheated and then got banned. Um, they will, yeah, they will just create more accounts and they will be like, uh, 
a cycle going on, you know. So uh, I don't really know if the appeal system itself is is really useful in this situation. Yeah, but you understand that you can't be really unbanning cheaters just by click of a button because it's going to uh, serve worse in the long run. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you probably have to keep uh, some uh, guys out of the community, for example. Yeah, definitely. So it's still probably a valid option, but yeah, it's not so trivial. Probably the problem with uh, this stuff is more connected to the fact that the current appeal process in general is a bit flawed. So do you have any kind of like idea besides the improved uh, improved interaction? Do you have any kind of idea how the process could be changed, modified in order to improve? Maybe some kind of specific, uh, maybe specific... Well, as, as I've uh, mentioned earlier, um, like maybe creating a staff ELC chat will, uh, will solve mm -hmm. some problems. But other than, other than that, I don't have any ideas. Okay, but what about, for example, the application form that you have to fill in when appealing? Do you think like that's sufficient? Do you actually like know what questions are there? I can and remind you if you don't. So I don't you... know them by heart. I can just well we can discuss them. Um, I remember that the questions are firstly. Uh, do you know what you were restricted for? Then tell us what you did wrong. Uh, tell us why can we be sure that you will never do that again? And something similar to that. How? Like I mean, yeah, there are two main questions. You are uh, you are told to say everything bad that you did. And you are asked, yeah. uh, how can we be sure that you will never break the rules after being in Osu again? So do you think it's enough? Do you think uh, maybe something else should be added in order to make the form more informative so you can have more information when dealing with the case? Hmm? Well, I don't really think the uh, the question like, uh, uh, how, can you, how can we be sure that... Um, that you uh, that you aren't going to cheat again uh, is really useful. I uh, I don't I'm not really sure about that. Like um, I, uh, how like how are p uh, players supposed to answer to that? <laughs> well, I I feel like their their answer doesn't matter actually. Well, you see, uh, I think you are a bit wrong here because this is a bit huh? a projection of of how real world works. For example, when you apply to a real job, sometimes you are asked. Uh, why do you think you are the best candidate for this position? Yeah. yeah. So do you think that? Yeah, also, I see. Do you think that's also a really poor question that is used by the employers, or maybe you can rethink your attitude towards what uh, purpose does this question actually serve? Well, I, I feel like uh, it's just my opinion, but I feel like this uh, this question. Um, is really just to test your ability to um, to defend yourself, you know. Uh, yeah. Overall. Okay, so maybe like you or people in the chat will have something to think about in this context as well. Uh, so right. the next question is it actually like this is like the last question that we have from the official s scenario. Uh, do you have close also friends who cheated and were banned? Either they cheated to get good scores or rank up, or out of frustration. Like, do you have uh, these close also friends who are actually cheaters, and does their cheating anyhow interact? Like, how do you interact with your friends who are cheaters if there are any? Well, I I don't have any friends who are cheaters, but um, if you want a concrete case, uh, you can uh, Google "Osu don't cheat." There will be a video by a certain. I think Riddleton, and uh, like he explains how he got banned. It's, bas it's basically him telling like um, he cheated out of frustration because he kept one missing a map, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's a uh, it's really good thing to watch the video. So is he, exp he is he giving a message that you shouldn't really be doing that, or it just well, he. Um, like he talks about his case and uh, also how you shouldn't actually cheat in the game because uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. So, 
Okay. Let's just use this. Is he unbanned or banned or what? In what? I, I didn't check actually. I don't think he is. <laughs> okay, so I actually don't see. Um, uh, I don't see uh, like valid questions, but there's a, a troll question from one of Russian guys, so maybe I'll just read it. Um, he asks me to. He asks me to ask you, how can you learn to mash masterpiece DT without actually reading at all and just uh, doing circular movements with your cursor? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, why why doesn't anyone else is able to pull that off? That's his question. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, if you're talking about a video, uh, my channel where I. I see the uh, the square parts. Uh, it's really luck. I got that on first try, I think, and uh, I don't think I would be able to to replicate it. I can see, yeah, I'm not consistent on doing this. Okay, well, so, yeah, I guess uh, there's really. Okay, well, I actually think that we uh, have discussed everything that I wanted. I think it was really fun. So thanks again yeah, for. Awesome. Having Thank you for, for interviewing me. I think we brought no up problem. a number of uh, interesting topics, so probably going to wrap, wrap up the stream, so you can say goodbye to the chat and stuff. Okay, bye everybody.